Welcome to the Three Minute Podcast. I'm Jeff Foster. We're going to look at motion tracking with Mocha and After Effects CS4. We'll start with the source footage where we will be tracking the screen on the iPhone. We'll then take this movie clip and insert this into the iPhone. Both pieces of footage must be exactly the same frame rate and the same size in dimensions. This footage is 864 by 486. I'll then drag the source file down to the timeline to create my composition. I'll drag the insertion footage in on top of the source footage in the timeline. I'll next launch Mocha for After Effects. I'm going to set the preferences in Mocha to match my source footage. This is 30 frames per second for this example. Next, I'll start a new project and import my source footage. I'll make sure that I select the correct frame rate for this source footage, which is 30 frames per second. That'll give me the correct number of frames that we'll be tracking. Notice that the aspect ratio of the picture isn't quite correct. We'll have to go to the Clip tab and then over to the File tab and then select the correct aspect ratio for this footage. In this case, this is CS4 D1. I'll then adjust the zoom and position in the view window. This will make it easier for me to follow my track lines. Next, I need to set the spline for my track. I'm drawing the spline around the outside edges of the iPhone. I'll come in and tweak around the edges a little bit to adjust them, make sure that it's a nice, clean spline drawn around there. I'll then select the Track Forward button to begin the auto tracking. The tracker will automatically follow the pixels within the image. We'll then be able to go back and make some adjustments to the spline along the timeline and set keyframes. Once we've made those adjustments, we'll come over to the Surface button and start setting our surface points around the screen. I'm going to make sure that I set the points just outside of the screen so I can get as clean of a track as possible. I can then scrub through the timeline and see if there's any points where I need to make adjustments to the surface track. We can do that by selecting the Adjust Track tab and then setting the master keyframes. The corner pin points can be adjusted either manually or using the nudge buttons down below. We can then turn on the grid to review our motion and surface tracking. We're now ready to export our data, so we'll go down and select Export Tracking Data, then Copy to Clipboard. We'll go back to After Effects and then select the Insert Footage layer in the timeline. Make sure the playback head is at frame 0 before pasting in the corner pin data on this layer. If your data is all correct, you will get a decent track on the first try. You may also wish to apply a stroke layer style to your insert footage. And that will give you a nice clean edge around your insertion footage. Here's the final result. Fantastic! This has been a 3-Minute Podcast with Jeff Foster. For more tips and tutorials, come to After Effects and Photoshop.com.